Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll talk about how to launch Windows applications with the help of Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. We'll also see how we can perform other operations using Power Automate. To start with this, here we'll click on New Flow. We'll create Desktop Flow and click on Create. Once We'll create this desktop flow. We'll get editor where we will use actions. So these are the actions available. Now to start with this, you will just use notepad. Whenever you write notepad, you'll see the options. Right click on this and you'll get open file locations. If you will click on control shift and right click, you will get Path. Now here, let me see the path. So this is Windows applications available. To launch this, just click on Control Shift and right click, you'll get a complete path. For launching any applications, we'll use Run Applications. We'll drag and drop this actions, provide the path and this is the complete path available. I think this is not correct. So we'll navigate it to Windows C, open this, search for Notepad. Let me try it out and see the result. Then we'll add feed for applications to load and two seconds of delay. Now, once I will run it, Let's see this application is launching or not. Yes, it's able to launch it. So this will also create sessions variable which we can utilize it at the time of terminating this applications. So here let me add terminate process which will help us terminate after every, every executions. Process ID I'm selecting here and app process ID is a variable which we are going to use. Now, next actions, once the notepad is launched, how we will automate this. So if I want to fill any value, what I will do, I will just add populate text fields in window. We'll use this action, add the UI elements. So I'm, I'm hovering everything, select control and left click and here you can add any value. This is a RPA hub power automate tutorial. I want to add this text. Once this text is added, we'll see the result. So let me try it out. Let me close it and run the flow. Now you can see this text will be added successfully after that it will close next we want to also perform some other actions like after adding this text we will select it and do the formatting like a uh, font will change font style like arial or maybe some other styles narrow bold or even the text size so next actions will be click actions here We'll use click UI elements in window and we'll add UI elements for this. Again, press control and left click. Now, next actions, we'll select font style, click on add UI elements. Just right click on this and just click control and plus left click. This will open tab where we can modify the font style, size, other fields. Again, we'll drag and drop with the same items and click actions. Click on UI elements, format, open the font window, just select Arial. Here we'll select this one, click on save and I want to just increase the size. So this window contains the size 20 and that's it. After that, I want to display or add same value so that we have this data available. Next, 
that's it once i'll run this flow we'll have some interesting automations in place i'll save it execute it and see the result how it looks let's run the process it will open the notepad fill the value right to the modifications in terms of style font size and all select it modify the size and then populate the same fields and then close it this is very quick where you can see the results or response added and once after that it will terminate the process this is how we can launch any windows applications perform the automations and close it with the help of microsoft power automate which is a low code no code platform where you can automate any simple medium or complex processes with the help of this tool so we'll see you in further video till the time if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching